The Nike Pegasus 40. Has this shoe just become a little bit of a waste of money? Well, let's find out. So into the specs we go. First of all, the shoe weighs 266 grams or 9.4 ounces and it has a 10 mil drop from heel to toe. It is a medium cushion shoe using the Nike React cushioning. This is meant to be a highly responsive shoe with the React cushioning and two Zoom Air units, one in the heel and one in the forefoot. This shoe is true to size. I'm a size eight and this is a size eight. It fits pretty well. It has a waffle inspired outsole for improved traction. It also has a midfoot strap to be forgiving yet secure. It comes in six colors for men and four colors for women and they cost about 115 pounds. Right, so let's jump into some of the good things about the Pegasus 40. Right, so first up is the traction. So this waffle pattern is actually really good. It does give you a lot of tractions. I've moved and I've actually now got steeper hills to test these shoes on. And yesterday I went up a super steep hill in the rain up and down and they performed really well to be fair they stuck to the ground well gave me a lot of confidence when going up and downhill which was really good so yeah this waffle pattern is actually really good for traction and does work next up is the cushion so the cushion on this is actually pretty good it holds up really well on long runs on tarmac i've done some sort of high mileage in these sort of like 20 mile runs all on tarmac and my feet have come out feeling pretty good especially long slow runs there's definitely enough cushion in there to support you for a nice long run and then my final like because there's not many it's probably the looks I think for the cheaper Nike shoes I think these look the best especially this color not all the colors I think are great but this one I actually think looks pretty decent a lot of Nike shoes that are on the cheaper end don't look very good whereas this is one that I think that does okay so let's go into some dislikes so the first dislike for me is the comfort of this shoe because I don't think comfortable at all even just to wear in general so what I first noticed when I put these on is that the toe box creases here so you can see that flex in there and it just digs in it just digs in like mad and I find that a lot with this shoe I find especially here around by the side of the tongue it's digging in the heel digs in I just think it's sort of attacking my foot a little bit which is really irritating at times and I just think generally it's not comfortable it's just doesn't have that level of comfort that I want. I find myself on a run feeling uncomfortable. There's cushion in the shoe, so you're not pounding your feet against the pavement, but the rest of the upper is just not giving you that comfort that you really want. It doesn't feel like a nice snug plus shoe. It just feels a bit uncomfortable all the time. And then my massive issue with this shoe is the sole. So I don't understand how this happens. However, if you push the pace in this shoe, you seem to run off the front of it. It doesn't really make any sense. It's like the upper comes with you, but the bottom doesn't. The whole sole and outsole, everything about it, it just you just seem to leave it behind. And it's so uncomfortable to push the pace in. If you run slowly at this, it's fine and the cushion supports you. However, intervals, tempos, anything like that, go to push the pace and this shoe is just an absolute mess. It's awful. It's so bad for pushing the pace. If I've got intervals coming up, no, I'll just throw this shoe in the bin. Like, it's just not worth it. I just don't get why. And it doesn't seem to be a sizing issue because the size is fine. I get an eight in every Nike shoe. This is an eight. They all seem to fit fine, but this one it fits but it feels horrible it just doesn't feel good especially when you push the pace it's like my toes are falling off the side i'm sort of like pushing the upper out it's bulging a bit and it just doesn't seem to work it doesn't feel like the shoe is under my foot when I'm pushing the pace and it's a real problem. So then on from that is the bulk. It feels really bulky. The tongue's quite bulky. All around the heel is quite bulky. To the side, there's a lot. Down the front, not so much. It's a bit more breathable and light. However, the toe box isn't very wide, so it just feels a little bit cramped in there. And that really doesn't help because it's already uncomfortable so then to add that it becomes even more uncomfortable and it's just it's just not really a pleasant experience running in these shoes 
and I find they just dig in all the time and this heel is when you're running downhill it's terrible it's really sort of cutting into the back of your foot which is just not nice at all then we've got the toe box which is just too small I, I just I don't know why I usually get away with a smaller toe box I don't mind having too cramped toe box because I mean, I haven't got the widest feet ever, so I usually get away with it, but this one just doesn't feel right. I think it's because it tapers a lot right at the top, whereas it's quite wide back here, but for me, I need it to be a bit wider right up here. And I think that might be the problem, but the toe box just doesn't really feel wide enough in this. If it was a little bit wider, I think that would be a massive improvement to this shoe. Right, enough of this video. I've got a new category called meh because that's how I feel about this shoe. But I've got two things that really bug me because they feel like they could be really good, but they just don't work. So the first one is the responsiveness. So it's got these zoom air units in it, one in the front, one in the back for responsiveness. Now, you can feel those when you run slow. They feel great. When you're doing a really slow run in these, the cushion combined with those air units actually feels really good and it feels quite springy and it's got a lot of life in it and you think, oh, this would be good. And you think, yeah, this is going to be really good for pushing the pace and then you push the pace and then the wheels fall off completely and it's an absolute train wreck and it's a terrible shoe. But that's why it's a meh for me because it's like you slow down and you think, oh, yeah, there's potential in this shoe and then you speed up and then you go, oh, yeah, no, it's rubbish. So that's just really annoying. So that's why I call it a meh because it's like it could be good and it sort of is good but it doesn't work in practice which is a shame and then my second one for the meh is the laces because they bind really well they bind great they never come undone I, i'm surprised because like i've got the wind flows as well and they come undone all the time but these bind super well and it's really good and in the wet or whatever i really seem to do with them like i don't have any problem with the laces coming undone which is great however the lacing doesn't lock you down properly. It's like it's always too tight or too loose and When you tighten it, it seems to like sort of go into like this weird diamond pattern and it's just horrible and It doesn't it doesn't seem to be laced up right and I don't know why and I can't figure it out and I've tried different methods, but I just can't get it to sit right with my foot. It's always too tight and all this bulk is squeezing and I mean it's uncomfortable anyway so if you really pull it down with the laces then it's just super uncomfortable or you have it like comfortable with how tight you have it but then your foot's like swimming around back here it's just not really solid it doesn't seem to work I don't know why but the laces bind well and they, they seem like they should work but they don't work so yeah they're my two like nah and I just don't get it, but that, that is how I feel about this shoe. It is just, yeah, it's annoying. It just bugs me. Right, so a conclusion. So who are these shoes for? Well, I don't really know. I can't really tell you because to be honest, if you're someone who wants a cheap Nike shoe, you can go cheaper and get better to do that. But then if you also go for a more expensive shoe like you can get something that's quite close in price point and is a lot better so i don't really know who this shoe is for i just feel like they're slowly ruining this shoe and just making it worse it doesn't seem to fit anymore and there's other brands if you look at the price point there's like new balance shoes that are great in this price point the brooks running shoes in this price point are really good and then they're 115, so you could go up like another 20 quid and then go to someone like On and get a cloud flow. Even earlier today, I saw that they had the Streak Fly discounted less than this. Like, I, I would never choose this over a Streak Fly, always just Streak Fly straight away. It's just a better shoe. So, I don't really know what this is doing. I think it should be a lot cheaper because it's not great. Right, hopefully I've convinced you not to buy the shoe. I mean, that's a terrible way to end a video, but if you do want to see a Nike shoe that I do recommend, I've got a review of the Winflow 10s just over here, and all my other shoe reviews will be popping up here. Thank you very much for watching. If you think I've earned it, please hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.